that's just the color of the linseed oil on the basswood and then dry brushed white over top of it. But it gives it a lot of white. So tassel that flops over, it's easy to carve through that really quickly if you, uh, if you don't draw it out first. All right, and the side of the face. So the way I do a rough out, and it doesn't matter whether it's one of my rough outs or someone else's, I start them almost every rough out I do, I start the exact same. You know, you look at this and, and sometimes rough outs have more detail in them than others. Um, this one's, you know, got some detail, you know where some things are. So now though you can see the, uh, the planes of the hand are there. And if you're really, you know, really working at it, the hand also goes like this. So your hand goes, a, you know, it, it rounds this way. And it also rounds this way. It can be a little confusing, although this one, you know, I, it never happens, but I actually like where this one is. Almost always I put this eye line in and really it's not necessarily saying where I'm gonna carve my eyes. I wanna look at it and see if I like the eyes there, if they're too low, too high. Rarely do I ever carve the eyes where I put the line. The line is gen just a, a reference point for me to decide where I wanna carve the eyes. So here's, and again, we've changed the beard a little bit and I'm gonna change the eyes a little bit. I've actually changed the mustache a little bit. We're not putting the mouth in, but it's still, you can put in whatever you want. But, you know, so there's that. There's that side. There, you can actually see that here a little bit better. So I'm gonna do the mustache. The mustache, even though I've, I've got all of this extra mustache now, it's still kind of hard to do more than two passes on it. So, you know, you can force it. This is a, this is a little bit smaller, number nine, still a Ramelson, than I did the first pass on the beard with. I don't put a, I don't put a center line in my mustaches. Um, I just would rather have them flow in there. So I think you have, you know, the idea of what's going on here. Uh, there's a multitude of different ways you can, you can do this, this guy. Like if you haven't done it yet, remember, I started out with one with a longer beard and skipped all this detail in here, which if you don't want to fight with all those tiny little pieces of wood, you can do that. Talking about fighting with little pieces of detail, you know, it's hard enough to just leave this belt buckle here in general and have it stay that thick and work that well. But it really gets crazy when you try and do that part in the middle where you want to show the belt going through it. But I got an easy way to do that, that you can use for many, many different things. But when I do this, all I do is I take and I do a, the same stab cut, kind of stab cut things I was doing with the eye. Now you have to be careful when you're going across the grain, you can put it in there pretty hard and there's not a lot of danger of any problems. When you're going with the grain, it will go in there way easier. So again, thanks, I appreciate it. And uh, I definitely hope to carve with you guys again someday.